Thy knowledge is proven. Oh. Is that how I'm supposed to leave, I wonder? high up the trial of courage awaits go forth draw thy sword vanquish the foe before thee mm -hmm. I wonder what kind of foe it will be one hell of a nose it's Leo from a way out save your progress do you know what's funny? What? I was about to say progress. Progress. Rather than progress. Because <laughs> I've... Hmm. This looks like an arena. Shh. Uh-huh. Shh. It's all golden, too. Whoa. It's, uh... Oh, it's a break. Fog. Fog. Monstrously um, muscled meta tester. Metal tester. Metal tester, sorry. Alright, so bad bad news. I don't know how to play this character. That's well. That. But, nope, uh, that didn't work. He was beyond your range. What about that? Oh, look this at one. that! Look at that belly! Ow. Oh, he's He is uh oh, weaker man. than I he's give doing him the butt scratch. Oh yeah, what are the little guys gonna Ow. do? I want to see what the uh, oh yeah the dark ones can do. I need your help. Wow. They miss. A dark orb vortex. Yeah, unfortunately, mobile boss makes. Yeah, especially because he's the kind that leaps into the air and. Unfortunately, I've wildly out leveled this, so like I could actually just face tank Thog. Whoa, he's he's getting ready for a punch. So he is. It did 26 damage. Just wait for my Higgledies to kill him. I could. I'm counting on you. Fight near these guys this time. I have to do this. I have to be king. Oh, holy thousand damage. Whoa. Well, that was easy. You obtained a pair of boss's boots. I didn't see him with boots on. No, it wasn't the boss's Evan. boots. We stole the boots of some dude named Boss. You did it! I did! Evan Petty Whisker Tildrum, thou hast proven thyself worthy. A kingmaker shall be thine. <sighs> oh, ta da! So, where is it? Oi, don't be here, man. Huh. Do you have a good uh, Irish? What's accent? with this little guy? Is he a monster? Oh, that cheek! Let me get the uh. <laughs> you took a whopper out egg. of my mouth. Yeah. <laughs> oh, that was a good whopper too. Mm-hmm. What makes a good whopper different from a bad one? I don't know. The malt is just much more the malt like was better. flavorful. Yeah. Why? That's charming, that is. Monster indeed. I'm your flippin' kingmaker, ain't I? Cor, you lot don't know. Uh, you you lot don't half know how to hurt a bloke's feelings. Hello. So, you're my kingmaker. That's right, man. That I am, sunshine. Name's Lofty. Lovely to meet you and all that. So Evan passed the trial with um. 
flying colors, it looks like. <laughs> what? <laughs> I read chat. Oh man, that thing looks like a cross-gender Lisa Simpson. Uh. <laughs> I mean, it. it's like a... It's a Higgle D, but with light or something? Go on. Uh, this is Tanny, or did you already I say already it? I already said okay, it. Okay, sorry. <laughs> Which means he can become a king again, right? You went wrong there. It does indeed. You have my full permission to rule over a realm of your very own. Um. Um. Thank you. I'm sorry if I seem ungrateful. It's just I was expecting someone, someone grander. Okay. Cor, stab me in the heart. Why don't you? The nerve! I'll have you know I can look very grand in need when I have a mind to. Uh, not at the moment, but like anyway. It's time to make our bond official. You have a, you got anything on you we can use to swear a pact over. It'll become a sacred treasure of your kingdom. So don't go giving me weapons all caked in monster blood or anything like that, year. Oh. Oh, of course. I completely forgot. Um, it sounds as if my sword and wand won't do. Uh, let me see. How about Roland? He's a possession, right? Uh. Come on, Mun. I haven't got all day. Ah. Oh. Ah. Oh no, not the stick from the Higgledees. Really? The Higgledee Stickledee. <laughs> That's all he has, not his. I like, like Roland's like salacious. Oh man, grin his back. grin it's is like, so weird. Justice. Uh, cause like his brooch <laughs> or his belt or like what does he Any have? Any number on him? of things. That the stick could like degrade and die. I mean, it's already dead, but yeah, it. it I don't you, know. You don't find much made out of wood from ancient times unless it was preserved properly. Like, metal would be much better, but... What about this stick? Tidy. Right. Let's... Hang on, hang on. Really? A stick? He wants to make a secret bond over a flipping stick. You're a one, you are. Well, can't be helped, I suppose. Looks like a nice, sturdy one, at least. Hmm. Yes. Okay, here goes. Hold up the royal twig. Come on, come on. There's beautiful, right oh? My turn! And that's us joined oh. forever! Good. Seriously, though, Lofty looks like something straight out of Sweet Bro and Hella Jeff. I, uh... Oh, this was a left turn I was maybe not hoping for. I now pronounce us King and Kingmaker. May the King's Bond that now binds us remain thick and lustrous till death do us part. We're married now, by the way. <laughs> huh. Get out of here, Tika. Tani. <laughs> Tani, sorry. I forgot. There's a character in a different Tika? game called Tiki. Yeah. Oh, uh, okay. oh um, Leaky is from from uh, Ash of Gods. Yeah, the, that's the Leaky. Mother. Yeah, Leaky. Sorry, but a king's bond, huh? It doesn't look very thick to me. Crikey! Well, I've only just made it, ain't it? Ain't I? When Evan, but uh, what? What the? When what? Evan by your kingdom gets going. It'll soon fatten up. Then we had better start building our kingdom right away. That's the spirit, mum. Flip. Flip, I almost forgot. 
I got something else amazing to give you, ain't it? Uh, something amazing? That's right, Mun. Yeah, get a load of this little beauty. A tactic tweaker. Um, what is it? Some kind of stone tablet? Nah, Mun. Not just some kind of stone tablet. A stone tablet containing the almighty power of me, your kingmaker. Or, as I like to call it, the tactic tweaker. Just as Lofty says, the tweaker is a very special stone that lets you have all kinds of interesting effects on how you do battle. You can access it from the main menu. If you can set it just right, every battle you'll come across will be a breeze, mon! They already are, dude. <laughs> just so you know, we have no idea what you're on about. Ha! <laughs> Fine! Well... I'll just have to fiddle around with it, and it you'll soon you'll soon find out what what's what. Uh, All, right. All right. I think the music is starting to throw me off because <laughs> it's like <laughs> it is very bombastic. All right, we've done what we came here to do. Let's get back to the Sky Pirate space. Talk about a refreshing breeze. There's Brayson. Alright. Let's go and let the boss know we're back. It has such a, like, weird posterior. Yeah. He's, like, its butt he, sticks out. He looks like Piglet. You know how Piglet... Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> it's like if, if you cross Piglet Lisa and Winnie Simpson the and together. Piglet. Piglet with Lisa Simpson. <laughs> <laughs> Actually, yeah, Piglet and Winnie the Pooh with a different haircut. <laughs> huh. This is a weird, weird turn of events. It'd be great if this is kind of a fake out and he actually, like, changes his appearance a lot over the game. No, his true form is actually a big golden dragon. Probably. This is just his travel <laughs> He's form. He's just dicking with us. <laughs> it's like, I know you need a giant monster to help you along the way, but you know what helps build character? Oakenheart. Stupid mascots. <laughs> I mean, Oakenheart is a massive, majestic beast, but maybe it's just one of those. He looks like oh, matter. he's got the he's got the face of a slime from um, oh, Dragon slime. Quest. <laughs> he totally has the same face. Yep. It just he grew things. I hesitate to call them limbs, necessarily. <laughs> Nodules. Ahoy there. You made it back in one piece then, hey lad. And by the look of your face, you didn't come home empty-handed. No, this is my kingmaker, Lofty. Ah, is it indeed? Uh. <laughs> <laughs> He's a little, little, ain't he? Oi! Says you, shorty! Alright, you scurvy dogs, make ready for a feast. These king-making swabs here deserve a celebration. <laughs> a feast, boss, truly! Ah. Yar! That night, the Sky Pirate celebrated Evan and his friend's success into the wee small hours. They all agreed that Evan was a fine young man indeed, and that he would make an even finer king. And then, morning came. Look! The sun is rising! Is it morning already? Gosh! Did you click through that too fast? I didn't get to read the last half of her. Oh. Thing. No, I didn't. It auto-progressed there. Oh. I didn't press anything. My hand- I was busy drinking. <laughs> Evan! Huh? You mean to become king of this here world, is I not so? Yes. Well now, there's a thing. I see something in ye. And I'm not the only one. What are you doing? The men of Cloud Coil Canyon do hereby swear fealty. We serve you now, your majesty. Huh? Gosh. 
So it was that the very Sky Pirates who had once sworn to take Evan's life now swore to devote their own lives to serving him. And with this fledgling following, he took his first steps on the long road to ruling the world. You seem pleased. I am. It all happened just as you said it would. I met lots of new people and made lots of new friends. Perhaps I really can keep my promise to Nella. <laughs> so you really are going to rule the world then? You don't do things by halves, do you? But building a kingdom is hard work and building a great kingdom is even harder. It's not going to be easy. I, I know that. But I'm going to try. I have to. Spoken like a true leader. You'll be meeting a lot more people soon, Evan. You have to listen to them. All of them. And you have to remember the things they tell you. It will make you a better king. I'll try my best. <laughs> Sorry, I'm talking as if I know everything again. But I'm right, I think. I trust the person who taught me all of this more than anyone else in the world, and so should you. Until next time, Evan. Goodbye. But... Oh. I wonder if he's like the boyish uh personification of the king that united the world in the past in the past maybe yeah <laughs> party members <laughs> little guys included <laughs> sort of yeah a lot of people are getting food well that's a sign up for life of servitude but we can't very well up in sticks and have every man, woman, and child among us set out after a king who don't even have a kingdom yet. Yeah. Yeah. And we can't just run off and leave the base empty either. Hmm. Oi! What are you two talking about? Oh, oh we were just uh, discussing the fact that we'll need to look for a suitable place to empty of empty land if we're to start building our new kingdom. So they really are just gonna build a new kingdom rather than retake his father's? Huh. All right, now that'll be an awful pain in the ne neck, won't it? Why, he could just raid a village somewhere, start out with it as your base and... No. We're not pirates, understand? <laughs> <laughs> all right, all right. Keep your hair on. Old Batu is just having a bit of fun with ye. Mm hmm. Hmm. Anyway, if we're gonna build a kingdom, we're gonna need a, a good spot. Location is everything. Cool. Look at Roland's face. Talk about serious. That's because we're having a serious conversation. <laughs> But I suppose he does look a little stern. <laughs> a new nation is like a tiny defenseless animal, by which I mean it is liable to be swallowed by the first predator that comes along. The only way for it to grow is to put itself somewhere out of harm's way, anywhere else and you'll be overrun before you know it. So what kind of place do we need to look for then? The moon. <laughs> You're space pirates, aren't you? <laughs> Somewhere difficult to invade for sure, like the moon. And with plenty of natural resources, maybe less like the moon. If you've got both, you've got a chance. Someplace like... Right here. Evan and his motley crew of would-be kingdom builders turned their gaze eastward to the heartlands. These verdant plains were as yet unclaimed by any nation. 
but would they prove a fitting place for Evan's promised kingdom? Chapter 3 The Town That Tempted Fate. Ooh. A multi armed god or something? The heartlands aren't too far away. Straight down the mountain and past the ruins. Can we fly there? Well, no. Well, no. It ain't as easy as. Oh, uh, it ain't exactly that, that we can't fly there. But it's the wind of Cloud Coil Canyon that set up old Sky Skimmers a soaring. You see, beyond the bounds of the valley, things get a mate hairy. Hmm. I see. I think I prefer to walk. Listen here. Going by land ain't necessarily much safer, lad. There's a gaggle of bandits that have been bothering folks down in the ruins there of late. Huh. Bandits versus pirates, huh? Sounds like quite the showdown. Yeah. Yeah. There's loads of them as well. It won't be pretty. And then we'll have to go mob-handed. We've a couple of halfway decent leaders and men among our number. Fetch a pair of the numbskulls, will ya, girly? Uh, of course. Durang, boss! No, listen here. We're away to set up a new kingdom down there in the heartlands, lads. We'll be needing to smash our way through a bandit or two to get there. Which is why you and your men will be joining us. <laughs> Arr, a battle! <laughs> sure, it's been long enough! Ha <laughs> <laughs> ha! scrap, boys! At last, you are! Huh? What are you doing here, Geral? I only sent for these here pair of scurvy dogs. Sorry, boss. Fancied I'd peek at this brave new world the boys are building us all. The more the merrier. Right, Evan? Um, of course. Well, if it's all right with the lad here, it is all right with me. Just you be sure and make yourself useful, you hear? Aye aye, boss. Looks like Knubbish, Chingus, and Geralt <laughs> are coming with you. Listen here. Now listen, I'll be fighting beside ye from here on out, lad. I'll leave the tactical tinkerings to you, but you shout if I am doing as you need me to. Batu is now a member of your party. Oh. Oh. I'll be counting on you. Thank you, Batu. We'll be counting on you. So the Cloud Snake himself is part of the team now, huh? Who can ask for a more formidable ally than that? All right then. It looks like it's time to head for the Heartlands. All right. Yay! Uh, so, do you want to continue playing, or is that? I was going to get today? us to a save point and then stop, and then maybe make dinner, and then figure out what Food. I'm going to do for the rest of the night. Yeah, because yes. you were you were drooling over their feast, and my voice is starting to go because I've been voicing too many pirates. Pirates. Yes, and if we want to do a pirates. Ash of Gods tonight, uh, I'd like to have a little bit of a voice acting rest so I can talk uh, freely when we do that later. Uh, let's see, how do I save? This is how I save. Tactic. I'm gonna look at the tactic tweaker before we go. Oh, so is it different abilities? I see nature, mountain, fairy. I I don't wind. Okay, sensitive. Huh. Yeah, sensitive monsters. Okay, so we've got unlock settings, battle points when we level up. Cool. I've not unlocked that setting yet. Oh. Okay, so how many? I got 50 battle points. points. So we have monster affinities, different uh, damage to different types of monsters, resistance to elemental damage and status ailments, mm -hmm. arts of war, entire bad, uh, party's abilities in battle. That's the one I probably care about. Ooh. And spoils settings. Okay. So that allows you to adjust the benefits. You can get more gold, more weapons, more mana, and more levels, experience, if you notice that. Yeah. Oh, you can choose to do refinement versus rarity. EXP or rare ma materials. Cash versus... Money kit. or equipment. 
Well, the question is, do you get better equipment or... Oh, wait, you can actually choose between the ones on the bottom and top, too. Huh. Huh. Interesting. How much... You're using all your battle points. You probably should have tweaked your speed and stuff. That's fine. Damage when blocking. Oh, Evasion. invulnerability time. Escape speed. How quickly MP is restored. Powerful range attacks or effectiveness of heavy attacks. We'll do that one for now. Okay. Uh, level up settings. 11 battle points to get another level. Ah, uh, you only have one More point. MP! That's fine. So, what do we want? Growth versus gold. Uh, absolutely gold. What do we... Uh... Okay, next up. Uh, cash versus kit. Uh, probably equipment. Okay. And refinement versus rarity. We don't need EXP. <laughs> we really <laughs> don't need EXP. Uh... Well, this is very interesting. That's a... Yeah. It's a nice upgrade system. Yeah. Let's save. Here, this time, for reasons I don't know.